visually beautiful thing in because I'm greedy. Oh, it's so good. Look at his little face. He is a big boy. It's Sarah, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well wherever you are. Today in Newcastle, it is so bright and sunny that I've had to close the blinds. Very on brand because today on the app, the Lush Halloween range for 2023 has dropped two days before the in-store launch. I thought it's normally gonna be a day. Um, so if you didn't know, you can get all the Halloween range in store from this Thursday, which is the 31st of August. And I will say that this range this year, they have knocked it out the pocket. Every year it gets bigger and better. And it is massive. It's spread across my table here. I don't know where to start. Um, everything smells incredible. I didn't get a chance to pick up any of the knot wraps yet, but I'm, I'm I'm going to because there are some absolutely beautiful ones. There's a one with a black cat on that I am in love with. So yeah, let's just jump straight in it. This year there are some returning products and there are some brand new ones as well. Um, so yeah, so the first thing I'm going to show off is Ghosty Bath Bomb. We all know him, love him. He's got that, oh, don't get on my nose, that really lovely fresh Avo Bath scent. You've got blue, pink and purple. So you've got these kind of kind of dark stormy kind of colours coming out, loads of popping candy and a little bit of shimmer. It smells unreal and it's very, very fresh, very, very fresh. So he is five pounds. I'm going to read the ingredients. You've got sodium bicarb, citric acid, popping candy, titanium dioxide, lemongrass, Sicilian lemon oil, Persian lime oil, cream of tartar, water, talc, cornstarch, and then you've got things like your synthetic flora, floral, floral guide, uh, and tin oxide and things like that in it. So this is a classic one to have. It's really colourful, it's really fun, and of course it's got a really uplifting kind of lemony smell. If you've not had Avo Bath before, it is one of the most zingiest smells you can find in the shop all year round, and he's really, really cute. I'm gonna pop them there behind me. I've also got my 29 High Street candle burning that we got in the last, well, in the kitchen box for December. So next up we've got Pumpkin Pumpkin. So cute, very Halloween-y. Um, you've got orange on the outside, you've got loads of yellow on, and you've got green on the top slow fizz forms the bath art with this is lovely as a yellow kind of starts foaming out of his face um it sounds a bit scary but it's you know it looks really cool um again if you are a big fan of pumpkin spice lattes if you're a fan of very autumnal smells uh, your pumpkin pumpkin is going to be the one for you he is 550 this year along with ghosty these are products that can actually now be made in party kits so if you are having a uh, a birthday party in uh, October you might want to have this as a party kit so inside your pumpkin pumpkin you have obviously sodium bicarb citric acid cream of tartar cinnamon leaf oil lime oil uh, sweet wild orange you've got Sicilian mandarin oil pumpkin powder it's going to be very warming on the skin. If I recall correctly, your pumpkin powder is full of vitamin A um, and E, so very skin softening. Um, so yeah, a nice kind of autumnal all-rounder. Does anybody remember Autumn Leaf Bath Bomb? Love that, 2016. Then we've got Bat Art. Wouldn't be a Halloween without Bat Art. Very sparkly, very black. It smells heavenly. Or should I say... Hellingly. Oh god, that, that was a terrible pun. So this has got a pink, uh, blue and silver insert inside of here. The, the silver is like a biodegradable silver glitter. So again, creates very slow foaming, beautiful bath art. It is £5.50. The ingredients are sodium bicarb, citric acid, Sicilian lemon oil, green mandarin oil, rosemary oil, sage oil, uh, water, titanium dioxide and cornstarch. Now you may be thinking, hmm, this sounds familiar. And if you haven't seen any of my other videos, uh, this shares its scent with um, Junk Perfume or Scrub 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 Body Scrub, which is up for vote in the Halloween Kitchen Box. It's still live. I'm going to do the video for that as well so you can go through the vote. But if you love that really like currenty sort of scent with like a sharp green note, it is beautiful. The sage 
and the rosemary adds a depth to it. So whilst it looks really cool, it's kind of got all these lovely kind of, kind of complicated notes to it, which smell really good. And if you just think, I love the comforter and I want something else currently, this is the one for you. A returner from last year is your UFO bath bomb. So inside here, I'm gonna actually, I'll just pour some out into my hand. We have these little bath salts and Oh, it smells so good. So this kind of reminds, it's very floral. Um, and I'm sure I said this in the Halloween video last year, that this reminded me of the, the Harajuku bath bomb. We had obviously Deep Sleep, which was the purple one, the muslin cloth, but we had a white one, which I think was called like Flower Bomb or something like that. And it very much reminds me of that. So this is £9.50. I'm gonna read the ingredients off the website. You've got sodium bicarb, citric acid, coarse sea salt, popping candy, blackcurrant absolute, Sicilian lemon oil, lemongrass oil. Sorry, I had the wrong ingredients there, and gardenia extract. This is a lovely foamy soak. Um, I think I put in my video last year, like this because actually it reminds me a lot of the Coiner Squatsy uh, shower bomb from a few years ago, but this actually spins. Let's see if I can do it on here. Whee! Yeah, there we go. It actually spins. And technically this is a three in one, so you can have the bath salts, you can have the lid, you can have the, the yellow UFO body. Uh, me personally, I would just shove the whole thing in because I'm greedy when it comes to bath bombs. Now I can hear you screaming. You're going, I need something new. And speaking of screaming, we have the screaming Banshee bath bomb. Look at her. She's having a whale of a time. So this smells so good and you know why i like it because it's space girl scented this is that kind of passion fruit delicious scent really really yummy fruity kind of scent um I, does this have popping candy let me have a little look this little bath bomb is three pounds fifty you've got your sodium bicarb you have got citric acid cream of tartar bergamot oil grapefruit oil almond essential oil fine sea salt apple powder popping candy yes i knew i had popping candy in, and gardenia extract i love the color of this this, this is my type of color when it comes to a bath bomb but yeah i'm very excited to use this pop her there next up we have jason's mummy Look at him, so cute. And you may recognize the kind of shape. Looks a lot like a Ginger Ninja or Black Ninja from the Harajuku range a few years ago. This super citrusy, super uh, fresh, and it is exactly the same smell as ectoplasm, like someone's just squeezed an orange into your bath. So Jason is four pounds fifty. Um, sodium bicarb. You've got tangerine oil, grapefruit oil, litsy cabeba oil, water, cornstarch, titanium dioxide, and you've got luminescence zinc sulfide. Now I know that some people do have an allergy to um, the luminescence zinc, and um, so this will glow in the dark or react under UV light. I wish I had a UV light so I could show you that. But only four pounds fifty, and again a nice size bath bomb. Now. We have a returner, but slightly different. This is Screamo. So a little bit different from last year's Screamo. Still that incredible Cherry Bakewell scent that we all know and love. Really yummy, beautiful. One of the most beautiful blues I've ever seen in a bath bomb. So it's like a really deep, um, starry sky blue. Uh, it has silver sparkles in there. It's really foamy, slow fizz. And it just smells incredible. This is five pounds. I actually kind of think this is a little bit more scary than the uh, original Screamo look, just with the big mouth and the big eyes. It kind of also looks a bit like, um, or what are they called from Mario? Um, do you know who I mean? I'll put a picture up over here somewhere over here. But it kind of reminds me of one of those as well. Um, yeah. Oh yes, the ingredients, goodness. So you've got sodium bicarb, citric acid, benzoin resinoid, ylang ylang oil, almond essential oil, cream of tartar, water, rice starch, corn starch, um, and titanium dioxide. So, oh, it just smells so good. I love that kind of Bakewell scent. Now, one of my favorite things that has come out for the Halloween range because it is so visually beautiful. And this is Magic Potion. It is literally a, like a, a magic, 
like a, like a magic potion, duh. Uh, it's a beautiful ornate bottle. It smells, oh, it is the same smell as the Christmas Eve range or the Great Wave Bubble Bar from Bubble Bars Past. Really a delicate, powdery floral smell. Really, uh, this would be amazing before bed uh, because of the smell. The bath art for this is phenomenal. I have seen it, it is beautiful. Um, and it's just an all right stunning bath bomb. So you've got this gorgeous pink, you've got blue, you've got purple with this gold luster over it. It's stunning and I need more of that. Oh yes, the price and what's inside of it, Sarah. Um, you've got, it's six pounds. It is uh, sodium bicarb, citric acid, popping candy, bergamot oil, jasmine absolute, ylang ylang, ooh, dragon fruit powder, what does that do? And nettle powder, ooh. Uh, titanium dioxide, cream of tartar, cornstarch, so it says soothe your skin with gentle nettle powder this ingredient reduces redness and leaves you feeling fabulous ahead of a wickedly witchy even evening so that's pretty pretty cool i've never seen nettle powder or anything got some returning bubble bars so we have the alien bubble bar Mm, smells like refresher shower jelly from years go past, years go past, years gone by. Um, if you don't know what refresher shower jelly smells like, it literally smells like a refresher bar. The one in the blue wrapper that's yellow inside, it's really kind of effervescent um, and it kind of really does take you back to kind of getting a 10 pence mix up and getting like a little refresher bar in there. You've got this lovely bright green, traditional sort of alien shaped head. I would say you get two very nice baths out of this or one very luxurious bath. It is six pounds and contains sodium bicarb, cream of tartar, um, you've got your cornstarch, bergamot oil, litsy kebaba, benzine resin oil, glycerin, water and tragacanth gum. Things with like benzine resin oil, it's very cakey. Um, so this will add quite a foodie note to it. And then we also have uh, one from last year, Bubba Lugosi. Look at his little face. And if you didn't know, Bubba Lugosi is glow in the dark. So you can, you know, you can turn your torch up on your phone or you can hold it to the light and then it glows in the dark. I have got a picture of this on my Instagram page, which I'll leave here, uh, that you can check out at the end to see it glow in the dark. Um, but he's really cool. And it smells so fruity. If you are a big fan of fruity smells, this is the same scent as your uh, soap and glory, as your so as your sultana or soap. So that is kind of very blackberry scented or blackberry bath bomb, abracadabra bubble bar, and um, what else? It's the same smell as this. Let me know down below. But it's oh, um, bewitch bubble bar, which is the cat from a few Halloweens ago. I get again two. Normal size baths or one very luxurious bath. The purple at the top is very potent, so you're gonna get that nice purple water with it. You've got sodium bicarb, cream of tartar, you've got that luminescent zinc sulfide, you've got bergamot oil, olibanum oil, so olibanum is frankincense, um, you've got glycerin water, cornstarch, titanium dioxide, and that tragacanth, traga, tragacanth gum and talc. It just smells so good. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is my favorite thing from Halloween, other uh, in the bath section, um, because it just smells so good. And I'm really excited to use it because it's gonna make your skin feel amazing. I'm probably gonna buy about three or four of these. Um, I can't wait to get my hands on more, my grubby little mitts. Um, but it looks so good. So this is your pumpkin crumble bubble bar or bubble rune. Look at that, he is a big boy. So, the smell, rich, autumnal, spicy. This is sparkly pumpkin scented. Um, we haven't had that smell in a long time in a bath product, but boy oh boy, does this smell amazing. And obviously I'm gonna see if you can see in the side here, you've got all this beautiful moisturizing butter inside, which is gonna make your skin so soft. I've always loved sparkly pumpkin, but when you haven't smelt it for a long time, like in a bubble bar, <gasps> oh, it smells so good. It smells so good and it just looks so good as well. I'm all about the cute pumpkin aesthetic. So you've got sodium bicarb, cream of tartar, fair trade organic cocoa butter, that is what's gonna make your skin lovely and soft, grapefruit oil, juniper berry oil, lime oil, pumpkin puree, fair trade shea butter. It just feels so good. 
It smells so good. That pumpkin puree is really gonna soften the skin as well. Pumpkins are just so versatile for the skin as well as obviously being super tasty to eat. I don't know about you, but I like to save the pumpkin seeds from when I carve a pumpkin. I like to roast them in the oven and have them as like a little snack with some with, with like salt and pepper on top. Absolutely delicious. Yum, 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 yum. And you are the best. Oh, he is eight pounds for the little bar, I just love him. And what I'm gonna do is as well, I'm gonna be doing some makeup tutorials based on the products as well. Um, so if you like the sound of that, stay tuned because I'm gonna have those up for you. Then we've got a new bubble bar and this one is so cool. It's Bonehead. And I don't know if you, can, you can't really hear anything in there, but Bonehead is a bubble bar and inside is actually some um, salt. So it kind of, when you crack them open, like loads of stuff like falls out of it. Would you like me to show you? I'll show you. So it smells divine. It's a lovely minty smell. In my nose, it smells a lot like Polar Bear Plunge from a few Christmases ago. And I know a lot of people miss that smell. You've got cream of tartar in here. You've got fine sea salt, cornstarch, spearmint oil, titanium dioxide, glycerin, water, that tragacanth gum. So again, this is really good for obviously mint, very cooling, very um, good for kind of any aches and pains. And the same with the salt that's in there as well. So let's, let's do it. How much is your bonehead? Six pounds 50. Let's have a look. I wanna see if this opens up. That's, because the one I sh tried, oh, yes. So can you see inside? And then just pours out. Now it's not doing it. But it pours out into your hat, like into the bath like that. I've got stuff everywhere. But you'll get two, three really lovely baths out of this. And let me have another smell. Oh, it smells so good. It smells ever so slightly more minty than frozen bubble bar. But yeah, smells beautiful. And again, if you aren't a big fan of colours in the bath, this isn't a super colourful one. Um, so again, if you're trying to like have a bit more fun in the bath with maybe the kids, um, but maybe the colour or glitter and things like that is a little bit too much for them, this one should be absolutely fine because it's, it's colour free. Um, next up, something a little bit different than bath, um, but it still is for the bath is we have the Witch's Cauldron Fun. I've kind of smooshed this one. So in here you have, um, you've got some kind of, you've got one, two, three, is that a bath bomb? Yeah. You've got three blocks of fun and three bath bombs. This is Lord of Misrule scented. Let me have a little smell. Oh my God. Every iteration of Lord of Misrule just smells so good. I love fun for shaving with. I love the Monster Mash fun from last year um, because again, with fun, you can mold it, shape it into whatever thing that you would like to make with it. And then you can wash with it, shampoo with it, make bubble bars with it, uh, make, make bubble bath with it. Um, but for grown-ups uh, and for people who like to shave, I like to mix it into a paste in my hand and then smooth it up and down. And because it's got a nice color to it, you can see where you've been so you don't end up with like any fuzzy strips. So this is 10 pounds. It's multi-use. So I think the idea is, is that you make a cauldron with your black and then you, uh, with a little bit of yellow and a little bit of pink, and then you put a bath bomb in it and it all explodes out. If you remember the, the volcano fun from like a few, I think it was like Father's Days ago, it's a little bit like that or Easter. Um, and I think it's a nice way to reduce plastic waste. Uh, you, I see a lot on my TikTok and my Instagram reels um, of the kind of Halloween bath bombs that are in plastic cauldrons. Yeah, they look really cool, but are you actually gonna use that plastic cauldron again or is it gonna go in the bin? Um, again, like I say, every time when I talk about fun or the kind of the plastic wrap, this is made from cellulose, is suitable for home composting. So you just literally just take off that label and pop it straight in your compost bin and it will break down and disappear. Next up we have got, do you know what, I've still got some bloody bath products here but I think I know what's going to happen. I think I'm going to put them all together. I've got my favourite product from last year. Can you guess what it is? Did I give it away by shaking it out of the camera? Maybe. This is Toil and Trouble Body Scrub. It is back. This is back. If you didn't know, last year, this was the first year it came out. It was so popular, it kept selling out. 
Um, so just, you know, if you like the sound of this, if you remember from last year, get it because it just, it kept selling out and it was, it was at, at times it was kind of hard to get hold of. So if you don't know what Toilet and Trouble is, it is a shower scrub. It has a similar sort of texture to your, your orange scrub or your rub, rub, rub. It's not as paste-like as say your, your Dream Barbie or your um, Celebrate scrub from this year. These are kind of been the, the newer style ones. This is kind of going more back onto the traditional style. Oh, it's so good. I love the smell. This is, like I said last year, autumn personified. It's very earthy. It's kind of like being outdoors whilst the leaves are falling. You've got the mint in there, which kind of really lifts it. The lavender for the bit of floral. It is divine. I actually smell the mint a little bit more this year. Maybe last year I had a bit of a cold, but I'll show you here. I don't know how well you can see because again, because of the light. But what it does have is, it's obviously a body scrub but I'll take these little guys out. It has, I'll just put it here, two little jelly bats. So what I'll do is um, I do again, oh no, I flipped them over. And there, that's kind of what it looks like. I'll, sh I'll scoop some out to show you the texture. Um, I'll put it on the back of my hand. Um, it's a beautiful purple. I love the color purple. It's my favorite color. Um, I'll put that back in there. And I've lost my trail of thought. It just smells so good. The, the colour is beautiful. Um, and with a shower scrub, the fine sea salt will give you a gentle scrub. And when you go to wash it off, it will lather up. So I'm going to go wash my hands because I can't be doing this for the rest of the video. All washed. My skin feels, as it always does when I use this, incredibly smooth. It feels amazing. It smells so good, like it lingers on the skin. Um, it's 13 pounds, it only comes in one size, which is the, the smaller size out of the two sizes for the body scrubs. Um, a little goes a long way. The best, sorry, I'm just gonna scratch my ankle, how, how poor of me. Um, the best way I find to use this is to put it on dry skin first, give yourself a good buff, and then wash it off in the shower or the bath. Just because it says shower scrub doesn't mean that you can't use it in the bath. It's the same with like shower gels. Just because it says shower gel doesn't mean you can't use it in the bath. It's essentially a body scrub or a body wash. So don't kind of get put off by the name of that kind of, of what it, what the name of it. You can use it in the bath as well as the shower. But if you want super, super soft skin, this is the one for you. So it says, take a handful of the scrub to buff over your body or for a more gentle cleanse, catch a shower jelly bat and lather up. Then rinse your worries away. Um, so it says, Lush purchase fine sea salt from Lake Antanasvoka. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, in Bulgaria. On Europe's second largest bird migration route, the salt marshes support biodiversity and provide shelter for them. Um, the combination of lavender and peppermint will leave you feeling mysteriously invigorated. So you have in here fine sea salt, lavender flower infusion, water, peppermint infusion, glycerin, labdanum resinoid, orris oil, patchouli oil, sage oil, lactic acid, carrageen extract. So that lactic acid is going to give your skin an exfoliation without a physical scrub. Sometimes that's why you see it in shower gels. So it'll just give you a little bit of a buff without actually the physical scrub so you're kind of getting a double scrub within this um it's just lovely and i would really really love to see this scent in more things so like if they brought like a toil and trouble body lotion to kind of match up with the scrub or a body spray oh my god i would die because the smell is so so lovely um if you want to see my first ever reaction i will leave the halloween video at the end for you guys. Then we've got an old school returning product. I don't know why I'm opening up before I can even show you, but it's Monster Octopus. Last year we had the Tarantula. This year we've got Monster Octopus, but he's had a bit of a facelift. Um, he's a bit bigger this year. His head fits right at the bottom of the pot. Um, he's no longer clear purple. I've actually just finished off my Monster's Octopus from a couple of years ago. Um, he's more of a tubby custard pink. For that oh let's get some bubbles on the go i know that that noise will probably uh <laughs> freak some people out let's pop them out into the hands come on oh 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 he's wanting to come out there we go oh <laughs> there he is there mr octopus massive much much fatter and bigger than last last time still amazing um fruity i think is this i can't 
can't remember what what scent the shares it with, um, but it's that passion, fruit, it's a really beautiful passion fruit scent, absolutely massive. It says, wibble wobble the whole jelly over your body and hair for skin softening, for a skin softening wash. You can use it as room temperature, cool it in the fridge or even the freezer for the ultimate invigorating shower. Softening glycerin and nutritious carrageen extract make this completely vegan and skin friendly jelly. Vanilla is one of the most precious and delicious materials used in perfumery. You need 600 kilos of dry pods to make just one kilo of vanilla absolute. God, I bet it smells so good in there. Can you imagine working like in a vanilla pod factory? So you've got glycerin, fresh passion fruit infusion, carrageen extract, vanilla pod, absolute black currant, absolute sweet wild orange oil, Tiger Tea's oil, water. Delicious. And um, it is £10.50 for our little monster octopus. Back in your cage you go. Oh, I didn't know what that was there. I had a hair on me. Oh, I thought something was touching me. So this is sparkly pumpkin shower slime. So you may remember this from last Halloween. And obviously we now have a sparkly pumpkin scented bubble bar so you can have a wash and a soak in this beautiful spicy delight. If you don't know what a shower slime is, it is a body wash that is a slime. And um, so I can hear a lot of parents groaning at the thought of like a slime, but this is a slime that you can use in the bath or the shower and um, that the kids can have fun with um, and you know they're actually getting clean with it instead of making a mess with it. So let me show you, I'm just going to scoop them up, what it's like. Look at that. That is a slimy, slimy body wash. You remember, you might have remembered Boo Shower Slime. Um, I really like the shower slime texture. Again, for shaving with, it is, oh no, don't get on the carpet. Oh my God. Um, my God, I'm making a mess everywhere. Yeah, I really like the, the kind of the, the shower slimes for uh, shaving with. And, you know, like what I've got on my hands here will do my whole body. And again, <laughs> I'm going to have to, and let's try and get some more on here. I'm probably going to have to go and wash my hands again. I like showing how stringy it gets when it's between your hands. <laughs> oh, sounds a bit foggy, doesn't it? Anyway, it smells incredible incredible if you if you love the smell of sparkly pumpkin i know the body spray came out in the kitchen oh maybe 2020 or something like that and if you're missing that scent on your body as well as like a bath then give this a try you've got it in two sizes you've got a 100 gram pot which is what i've got here for seven pounds or you've got the 250 gram pot for 14. i'm gonna have to go wash my hands again oh my god it's so strong it's so good okay Chris, christmas soaps halloween soaps we have three we have ghosts in the dark we know, we know who they are. They've been here, what, for about five years, I think. Uh, slightly changed his shape over the years, but he's been in this kind of the ghosty soap uh, mold for, for a couple of years. Exactly the same smell as ghosty bath bomb, that beautiful avo bath, you've been mangoed scent. Really, really yummy. Uh, this glows in the dark like crazy. I think I've told the story before of once when I woke up in the middle of the night, I had to go to the toilet. And I opened the door and I was like, what is that glowing? And I was like, absolutely, like, I don't understand what's happening. Um, but yeah, it is awesome. And it's got a really creamy lather. Um, so this one is six pounds. Let me get the ingredients. We have um, water, uh, fair trade organic cocoa butter, extra virgin coconut oil, organic castor oil. You've got your sodium hydroxide, luminescent silk sulfide, um, lemongrass oil, bergamot oil. So again, gonna glow in the dark. There's a lot of glow in the dark stuff this year. We have got... A new one, Demon in the Dark Soap. So this is probably what it's gonna look like if you get a gift set. I will pop a picture mm, somewhere around here of what it, the display looks like. The display is stunning. Like it is unreal. It is like a masterpiece in person. This also, as far as where it glows in the dark. So this is apple and mint. I think this is gonna be a bit of a Marmite soap. People are gonna really love the smell or some of them are gonna be like, oh, this is not for me. It reminds me a lot of going to the dentist you know like you've had your dentist and then you had your dentist you've beat the dentist and they give you like that pink stuff to squirrel your mouth out it's kind of like aniseedy uh very medicinal 
Um, I love the dark green. Um, it's very kind of swampy and mysterious. So uh, you've got your water, you've got um, glycerin, fair trade organic cocoa butter, extra virgin coconut oil, organic apple juice, organic castor oil, your sodium hydroxide, peppermint oil, spearmint oil, clove. It's the clove that makes it so medicinal. Citric acid, titanium dioxide, gardenia extra. It's obviously with all that peppermint and the clove, it's gonna be very invigorating on the skin. If you like a bit of a pick-me-up, it's gonna be perfect. And obviously apples, full of vitamin C. And it just looks visually very appealing. It's a nice gift-giving piece of soap for the little goth in your life or Halloween lover. We have um, two new lip scrubs. We have Wednesday's Child is Full of Woe, and we have Candy Cold. Corn. Obviously, you know me, it wouldn't be a seasonal launch without me taste testing them. So, you've got this lovely blue coloured one and then you've got a bright orange one. I love the contrast in colours. Mmm, ooh. Mm, the two of them together smell really good. So, this one's my favourite. Um, this one is the... I'm going to just go... Oh, yeah. Obviously, I can't put on my lips. I've got lips are gone. This is the same taste as the Sugar Plum Fairy from, a, uh, I think about seven years ago, um, a Christmas one. And it is so good. It's kind of a little bit tangy, but then you get the sweetness. And obviously it tastes like sugared plums. So the ingredients in here, you've got castor sugar, organic jojoba oil, fair trade chia butter, organic pressed grapeseed oil, sweet wild orange oil, citric acid. So what I would say to this is, obviously, if you don't know how to use it, you just scoop them out, you rub it over your lips, and you wipe it away, or you lick it away. It is up to you. Um, but they are, they are tasty. And they are seven pounds each. The next one, candy corn. Now I know candy corn is quite an American thing. Um, we don't really have candy corn over here. I'm trying to think what it, could taste like to something over here. I'm not a candy corn lover. Do you, if you've tried candy corn, please let me know what you think of candy corn down below. Because I always had in my mind that I would really enjoy it. And I, you know, obviously, as a as a British person, kind of growing up and watching like a lot of American programs and cartoons growing up, you know, candy corn is a thing that you associate with Halloween in America. So when I went over to America to try some, I was very much like, oh. <laughs> so let's. How do they go? And just in case, I might like this one, but I, I, I can't remember if I did or not. Yeah, it tastes nice, but it's not for me. I'm, I'm just not a candy corn person. So you've got castor sugar, organic jojoba oil, corn oil, Brazilian orange oil, rose oil, benzoin resinoid, uh, sesame seed oil, uh, fir balsam resinoid, uh, paprika oral 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 so, I think it's the rose that I can taste more than anything. Um, I definitely get the uh, Brazilian orange oil straight away, but I'd love to know for my American viewers um, and Canadian viewers, can you please tell me if this actually tastes like what candy corn tastes like? Because it's been so long since I have tried, um, you know, uh, candy corn. I would love to know what what you think, but yeah. Let me know. Uh, but like I say, both of them are seven pounds each. Uh, one that I don't have uh, is Mr. Pumpkin Face Fresh Face Mask. You know that I love this fresh face mask. This came out in the Fresh and Flowers box, I think, not last year, but the year before. I, everything just blurs into one. But it's a beautiful seasonal face mask. It gives you a nice scrub without being too scrubby. It smells like orange custard creams. Um, it makes your skin feel amazing, and it's one of the best fresh, fresh. It's one of the best fresh face masks that came out of the Fresh and Flowers box. So inside here, you've got pumpkin puree, you've got glycerin, cornstarch, organic pumpkin seed butter, uh, ground pumpkin seeds, kale and cinnamon leaf oil, lime oil, sweet wild orange oil, Sicilian red mandarin oil, paprika oil, 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 oil. So that cinnamon oil is going to be very brightening on the skin, but that pumpkin seed butter is going to get that moisture in there along with the pumpkin seed puree. Um, so it says the pumpkin seed butter is UK sauce, full of oils to moisturise and smooth. I love this. If if you've not tried it before, please go and get it. And obviously, don't forget, if you bring back any five um, bits of lush plastic packaging that's full size and clean, you can get a free fresh face mask. So why not treat yourself to a free fresh Mr. Pumpkin face? Because it is the bomb. Then we've got a returner that has kind of been 
Revise, and that is the pumpkin sheet mask. I'll see if I can find the picture of me wearing it. It is horrifying. Um, it's seven pounds fifty. I think it it, it kind of it got taken off a bit early last year because it was ripping quite easily, but they've reworked it so it, it doesn't tear. Um, so this. Let's have a look. Has in it glycerin, water, kaolin, pumpkin puree, fresh tomato, carrageen extract, Brazilian orange oil. So because it's been redesigned, um, it has a much longer shelf life. It's got a shelf life of three months. But once you open it, you have seven days to use it. But you can use it multiple times within that seven days. So it's not like a one use thing anymore. Obviously, we have the pumpkin iPads to go with that as well. So that's glycerin, water, pumpkin puree, carrageen, um, Extracted activated charcoal. They're three fifty. If I didn't say the pumpkin sheet mask is seven fifty, they them two go very well together. Um, but my favourite thing out of the two, if I had to choose one, would be the pumpkin sheet mask because I love the feeling of those those kind of carrageen and either like the long eye masks where they go onto your temple. I don't know what it is, but when I'm just feeling a little bit of cold pressure here, oh so good so i would personally for me prefer the sheet mask over the ipad the best thing to come out of halloween this year other than my beautiful little pumpkin friend uh, the bubble bar is the pumpkin spice melt that is right there is a pumpkin spice scented melt that you can put in your bath or you can put in your burner now i would show you it but i've used it all it is that good i put two blocks in my burner it is so strong i can smell it up into my bedroom from the hall uh, from the from the from the from the dining room from the, no not from the dining room from the living room it is phenomenal it is this beautiful pumpkin spice pureed pumpkin orange with the most amazing gold luster over it in the bath it melts it makes your skin feel amazing it scents it with that beautiful pumpkin spice that paired up with a pumpkin pumpkin and half one of those pumpkin crumbles. <sighs> Do you know what I would love? A pumpkin spice shower gel. Oh, and I was thinking if I was going to make one, maybe like clear orange, like that rich pumpkin puree orange with gold luster running through it. Kind of like how they've done the gold luster in the golden egg from Easter, that lovely suspense. Oh my God, it'd be beautiful. So... Um, it's £6.50, so the same price as all the other melts. You've got fair trade organic cocoa butter, you've got glycerol stearate, almond oil, cinnamon leaf oil, clove bud oil, ginger absolute, organic jojoba oil, organic pumpkin seed oil, titanium dioxide, synthetic fluorofluorofluoride. Just because you can put it in your wax melt burner, there's no wax in there, so it's absolutely perfect for going in your bath. All that cinnamon oil, so warming, so good for achy muscles, and obviously just the scent of it. It is, I know a lot of people wanted that kind of, that autumnal scent in like a candle or a melt form from Lush. They have done it. They have achieved it. It is divine. Uh, I can't wait again, a bit like the, the crumbles to get my grubby little mitts all over it, to get a few more. Um, it's it's just beautiful. I absolutely just, oh, I just can't get enough of it. It wouldn't be Halloween without Lord of Misrule. Lord of Misrule, the king of Halloween, patchouli, black pepper, vanilla, sweet, spicy, heady, decadent, lingers on the skin all day and all night. Just iconic, just the best smell ever. So, we have our Lord of Misrule shower gel. Coming in four sizes, small, medium, large, and the ginormous kilo bottles for you to get your Lord of Misrule fix. You've got that lovely dark alien green gel. Let's see if you can see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it's just heavenly. I love Lord of Misrule. Um, it's one of my all-time favorite smells from um, Lush. I have never had so many compliments when I wear it. My friend, my best friend Karen, she always says that when I wear it, um, like how nice I smell and that it always, when she smells it, it always makes me think, makes her think of me. Um, so that's really nice because I, I don't feel like I have a perfume where people smell it and then think of me. Um, so it's nice that she thinks that Lord of Misrule, um, when, she, when she does smell that, she instantly can smell me, which I think is really, really cool. So your gel, 
You have black peppercorn infusion, lovely and warming on the skin. Glycerin, titanium dioxide, black pepper oil, dark sumatran patchouli oil, vanilla absolute, wheat germ oil. Wheat germ oil is full of vitamin E, so really skin softening, uh, carrageen extract and water. Just an all right banger of a shower gel. So the prices for the shower gels, you've got eight pounds for a small, 16 for a medium, 27 for the large 500 grams, and then 44 for the big old kilo bottle. We also have the Lord of Misrule massage bar. Um, not every store can carry this all year round. The creation stores can, so my local store has it in. Um, but for the smaller shops, Lord of Misrule massage bar is back in. So you can wear this as a solid body lotion or you can use it like a traditional massage bar. And again, that black peppercorn oil is really gonna just gently warm up the skin and help ease any knots, any tension, and especially if you get your thumbs in. Um, it's just a lovely, lovely massage bar. I do have it somewhere. Well, I don't know where I put it. Um, so you have in your massage bar, fair trade organic cocoa butter, organic shea butter, black pepper oil, dark sumatran patchouli oil, vanilla absolute. So warm and so spicy. Got the Lord of Misrule four wick candle. It says uh, they've introduced a four wick candle with a new and improved wax base and fragrance. Rather than filling a small space with the iconic scent, the large candle will take over an entire floor of the house. It's £36. Um, I mean, I had a small um, Lord of Misrule candle and I actually thought it was all right. Um, so I'm very excited to get a big one. Then you've got the Lord of Misrule body spray. Back, baby. Let's get a little, little spritzerino on here. I don't know what it is, like, I don't need it. I love the body spray form, I think, a little bit more than the liquid perfume. I think it's because you can just get a full good mist on it. So it's £25 for 200ml body spray. In here, of course, you've got um, water, glycerin, dark matching patchouli oil, black pepper oil, vanilla absolute. It's just divine. If you're humming and hawing about the fragrance and you're wondering, well, why have they got the, the perfume version, which is out all year round, and then the body spray. The body spray, obviously, it's in a plastic bottle. You can just sling this in your bag. Um, but the perfume version is just a little bit more potent. It's an eau de parfum, so it's, it lasts even longer on the skin. Now, 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 now. You can't have Halloween without a Lord of Misrule bath bomb. And we know there's been some changes to Lord of Misrule over the years. Initially, it was a dark green with a dark purple heart center pop and candy so that the bath looked like red wine. Then it kind of changed to the jester that everyone didn't like but still smelled amazing. Then it went back to the original form. Well, this year, they've had an upgrade. Lord of Misrule's gone bougie, okay? So we still got the beautiful crown that we know and love with Lord of Misrule. But instead of being all green, on the outside, Lord of Misrule has got this beautiful striped pink. Well, the dark purple that's normally inside of it. It is stunning. And I have a feeling Snow Fairy is gonna look a little bit similar to this as well. It smells so good. I know I'm saying this about everything, um, but it's beautiful. And I really like this version of Lord of Misrule. We still got the crown, um, but I love the kind of the bougie stripes in there. And I, I'm, I'm kind of excited to see what a display of them would look like because they're all going to look so different because obviously they're handmade. Um, it's I think it's stunning and it's £6. So again, with the ingredients for here, you've got sodium bicarb, citric acid, cornstarch, black pepper oil, dark smetron patchouli oil, vanilla absolute, titanium dioxide, synthetic fluorofluoroguide, no popping candy. Did I have popping candy in it? Have I just made that up? I can't remember. Then we've got a new bubble bar in the Lord of Misrule scent. Look at this chunky one, eh? Look at that size. Kind of reminds me of Jughead Jones's hat uh, in Riverdale. Um, I don't know why I'm smelling it. It smells just like the bath bomb, <laughs> the body spray and the shower gel. This is I, bigger than the Labyrinth bubble bar. I love the Labyrinth bubble bar from last year, but very small. This year, big and cheaper than uh, last year's. Uh, £6.50. You've got sodium bicarb, cream of tartar, black pepper oil, <laughs> sumatran patchouli, dark sumatran patchouli oil, and vanilla absolute. Um, just divine. And if you want a bubble bath, I find that Lord of Misrule works so well in a bubble bath. 
So, you know, you can have a real double whammy here. And then, of course, for the soap lovers, I did say earlier on, way back, uh, that there were three soaps. And there is, this one's got a little bit tatty now. Um, this is the Lord of Misrule soap. And you've kind of got a bit of a Jackson Pollock moment. Um, the display is going to look amazing. Um, smells just like Lord of Misrule. Uh, beautiful dark green and then you've got splashes of yellow green and like a red color on here um, I'm going to assume that again this is going to what it's going to look like if you get a set um, and I imagine that in the store we're going to uh, in the store it'll get cut to weight a bit like um, in previous seasonal products so in here can you guess what's in here patchouli infusion rapeseed oil coconut oil uh, glycerin you've got water rice bran uh, oil, black pepper oil, dog smatch and patchouli oil, vanilla absolute, white pepper powder, wasn't expecting that, so extra peppery, and then you've got uh, sodium chloride, citric acid, titanium dioxide, uh, gardenia extract, yeah, it's just, what well, you just can't go wrong, moisturising, spicy, uh, sweet, and I know there's not been a lot of misrule soap, so and that's pretty cool, but six pounds for a chunk. So I imagine that if 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 the stores are cutting display, it'll be six pounds per hundred grams. A bit like the demon in a dark one as well. So that is everything from bath and shower and fragrance. We're gonna move on to gifts. We're gonna go move on to gifts and knot wraps. And like I say, I haven't had a chance to pick up any of the knot wraps, um, but this year the knot wraps are phenomenal. So we will start from the bottom. The gifts are so cute. So we have uh, Trick or Treat. This is green with orange pumpkins, smiley pumpkin faces all over it. And you've got the ghosty bath bomb and the pumpkin pumpkin bath bomb. This is like a nice little treat uh, Halloween little gift set and it is 13 pounds. Then you have Bewitch, so this is kind of like a bougie set. So in here, you have got a hundred, you got a hundred and thirty gram pot of the Toil and Trouble uh, body scrub. You've got the um, pumpkin crumble bubble bar, and you've got the magic potion uh, bath bomb. So this is kind of like, you know, your, like your bougie friends who love Halloween and you want to treat them to something for their birthday. This is the one to go for. This and the packaging is really cool. Um, dark purple, psychedelic, kind of swirl all over it. And it's got that bewitched handwriting from, do you remember Bewitched the TV program? I mean, some of the guys who watch this, maybe not, but I love Bewitched when I was growing up. That is 23 pounds. We've got Monster Party. Uh, gift set. This is really fun. Slidey draw a bit. Do you remember Ghost Train from last year? So you've got your uh, ghosty bath bomb, bonehead bubble bar, screaming banshee bath bomb, and your alien bubble bar. So you're going to get how many baths? So you're going to get two, four, six baths out of this, but you also get two sheets of Halloween themed stickers. These are so cute. And again, this is maybe a nice little family sharing set. So if you've got four kids, You've got a bath treat for everyone for Halloween. And for the people who love the bat bag, we have the bat bag again this year. It's all the colors of the bags mixed into one. So your black base with green, orange, and purple bats. Do you know, every year I go, oh, I think I might get one. And I, have a, I know a lot of you guys collect the bat bags. So does that mean that there's gonna be no more bat bags after this? Or are they gonna change it up? Um, but inside you've got the ghosty bath bomb, you've got the bat art uh, bath bomb, the sparkly pumpkin shower slime, and the alien bubble bar. So that's gonna be 38 pounds, including the bag. Then you have the Little Lord of Misrule set. I like the pattern on this. I'm sure, do they not have a knot wrap like with this kind of psychedelic checker print? So you've got in here the bath bomb and a little shower gel for uh, 16 pounds. Nice little set um, for Christmas. Now I know last year, the Little Lord of Misrule, which was like that metallic green foil set, it looked a bit like, um, like a sweet, like a sweet tin, uh, and the big Lord of Misrule set, they kept all the way through to Christmas. So if you are wanting to buy someone, I know it's it's August and I'm saying Christmas, but if you are wanting to buy a, a Lord of Misrule fan a Christmas present, a small one or a big one, they normally are kept all the way through till Christmas. Then you have the bigger Lord of Misrule uh, set. This looks like the soap with that Jackson Pollock splash all over it. So you get the bath bomb, you get the 100ml shower gel, 100ml of the fragrance, you get the Lord of Misrule bubble bar and 100 gram. 100 gram piece of the soap. Yet again, my memory card stopped, sorry. 
Next up we have a new tin. So we had the haunted house last year, which is in the background. And I was kind of coming on, do I want this tin? Do I want this tin? Uh, and when I saw the picture, uh, which I'll put here, it looks like the kind of similar thing. This is a mad, uh, the weird science tin, but in person it is so much cooler. And I'm sure that it's kind of like, almost like like embossed in places but I really really love this and it's £10 and I'm definitely going to be getting the weird science tin because I've got a bit of a tin collection I've got the Christmas one I've got this one and I need to get that one and then I have some round tins and things like that in the cupboard it's just really fun and again if you want to create a gift set using the tin will really help you with that um, especially if you want to like say you, you you like the idea of the bat bag but if you want more shower stuff in you know you can do it that way um, or you want to put a Mr Pumpkin face mask in um, you can be a lot more creative with it and also the tins are like what I do I like to store all my bath products in the tins as well so yes that is all the gift sets please let me know what you think of those gift sets down below which one do you quite fancy do you like the empty tin so you can store stuff in or make your own gift set do you want a big lord of misrule or a little trick or treat i'd love to know down below my favorite is the bewitched and obviously the bat bag um, and then the tin yeah alex if you listen i'll have the bat bag exactly i'll have a bat bag okay on to the next section not long to go. If you've got a num bum, please go pause, make a cup of tea. I'm gonna finish my cup of tea. It's gone all cold now, my little pusheen mug. Um, we've got the knot wraps, and this like this year, like I was saying, the knot wraps are phenomenal. They are so good. So the first one we've got here is Creepy Crawlies. It is a really deep dark blue, metallic gold, um, cobwebs, and multicolored insects it's seven pounds made from fairly traded in organic cotton um it is just beautiful so next up we have the trick or treat knot wrap so it's that green with the psych kind of the psychedelic crazy pumpkin on you might have recognized it from the trick or treat gift set this one glows in the dark it is made from fairly traded organic cotton and it is seven pounds it's a really cool little knot wrap and again the knot wraps you can do so much with them they're so versatile not only can you do kind of zero waste rewrapping of gifts but you can tie them in your hair you can i've seen people make skirts out of them my mom's made scrunchies for me with them this is a great way to reuse something and also really fun halloween decorations as well then we've got hairy monster this is so cute black background loads of really multicolored monster feet and hands this is made out of uh, organic poplin cotton don't know what that is i'll have to have a look at that inspired by monster foot bath bomb from halloween 2022 along with 90s cartoons trolls and nostalgic monster dolls seven pounds it's so cute i do i want that one as well oh my god it's too many then my all-time favorite but there's one other one that's I, I i need to get but this one black cat in the moonlight it reminds me of like a goth version of the Grace's Cat, uh, not wrapped from a few years ago. This is made out of the recycled plastic bottles. It's seven pounds. You've got all these pumpkin patches with that stunning black cat behind it. I'm sure my friend Anth will more than likely grab one of these because he has two black cats called Boo and Argento. Maybe Ailey might grab one too for Mushy, um, but really, really cute. And if you've got a black cat, well, you've got to honour it and grab a little black cat knot wrap, don't you? Then we have a much bigger knot wrap. This is The Gathering. It's £15. And this is the other one that I really, really want. You've got frogs on here, bats, mushrooms. You've got, what else have you got? Snails. Everything that I love. I love frogs. I love snails. I love mushrooms. And they're making potions and I love bats and there's little ghosts on it. Yeah, I need this. Oh my God, there's a UFO on it as well. It's just really cool. And I just know that, I know, what was it like a couple of years ago? Loads of the knot wraps sold out on the first day. So again, if you like the sound of these, get them just in case. Because there was like a black and white screen printed bat one. Um, and like there was only like four and they just instantly sold out. So again, get it before it goes. But that is all the knot wraps. Sorry, that wasn't all the knot wraps. So you've got the haunted forest on the left and then Halloween buds on the right. You know me, I'm very much 
the Halloween buds. They're both six pounds and made from recycled plastic bottles. Then there is some cool Lochta paper. So Lochta paper is really nice just to wrap up one bath bomb or two smaller tubs or something like that. So maybe like a bath bomb and a sparkly pumpkin, small sparkly pumpkin shower gel, depending on the size. So you've got the um, pumpkin bats, cats and eyeballs. This would be so cool as a tote bag. I feel like, said this for the last few years, I would really love some of the Lochta papers, either as knot wraps or as tote bags, like merch. Definitely, please bring it out. Um, that's two pounds. I think all the Lochta papers are two pounds. You've got the pumpkin orange uh, Lochta paper. Um, so you can either have that as a pumpkin for Halloween or a tangerine, uh, sorry, Satsuma for, uh, for Christmas. And then you've got the Lighting Optical Illusion Lochta Paper. That's freaky deaky, that one. That's two pounds. Um, and then we've got something cool. This year, Lush are bringing out greetings cards, postcards, and badges. And I, oh my God, the badges are so cool. They're two pounds 50, you get a set of four. They're made from recycled yogurt pots. And the moon one, I love him so much. He is up to no good and I love it. I want, I want to, want to be a friend with him. He, he's up to it. Uh, he's out to party. So they're quite big. Um, I would say they're probably maybe about this size or a little bit small. Maybe the size of the, the clear part of this blush. They're quite the size. And again, a nice fun little gift. And if you collect the pin badges and badges from Lush, this is a nice little collector's thing as well. I've got a hair right here. <laughs> Go away. Uh, then the greetings card, uh, I believe, and it is the UFO one from the multi pack on a card. This would be quite nice if you're giving a gift voucher for um, Christmas or a birthday or for Halloween to someone and you can put it inside the card. Um, because obviously you do get like the little fold up ones, but it's nice to just put it inside uh, and then they get a little badge as well. And the card is only three pounds and it's really cool. Um, but yeah, that is everything from the Halloween range. It is huge. I would love to know what you think about it. Have you already made your purchase? Or are you gonna wait to go in store and have a smell and try everything on your skin? Please let me know down below. My favorite things this year, hands down, has to be the pumpkin spice melt. Sorry I couldn't show you, I've used it all up. What can I say? The pumpkin crumble bubble rune. Um, and of course, my favorite, my OG, Toil and Trouble body scrub. I'm definitely gonna get me mitts on a couple of those knot wraps and what else? What else do I want? The tin as well. So yes, let me know what you think down below. If you like this video, give it a little thumbs up. And if you really liked it, you can subscribe. We are on our way to 4,000 subscribers when we get there. I'm gonna do another little giveaway. I love to do a giveaway on a on a roundup on a thousand. Um, you can follow me on social media here. And of course, YouTube will recommend some videos at the end. And I'd love to let you, uh, love to know what you think about me doing some makeup tutorials based on these products. But yeah, I'll see you next video. Bye. Oh, that's the wrong button. <laughs>